Now, my strong woman story is about a witch. Is anyone scared of witches? This yes. witch is a really nice witch. Her name's Smoragda, and she's rather beautiful and rather elegant. And she doesn't do any nasty business, like gobble up children for breakfast or any of that. She's a very good flyer. She can fly fantastically on a broomstick. And somewhere here I had a flower that I was with. So we pretend that's her broomstick. She can fly really high and do circles in the air and go up and down, up and down like that. And she's very elegant and very charming. But what do witches have? Who can tell me what witches have? Yes? Yes, they do. What else do witches have? Someone up the back, Susan, what do witches have? Pointy hats. What else do witches have? Black cats. <gasps> that is the answer I wanted to hear. Black cats. Little black cats. Can everyone do that? Can everyone do little like that? Little? and black and cat. Smoragda didn't have a cat. Now the chief witch who was the boss of all the witches said that all her witches had to have a cat. So one day she called Smoragda into her office and she said, Smoragda, she's a pretty horrible witch. Smoragda, I hear that you don't have a cat. Now how can you be a witch if you haven't got a cat? Oh, chief witch, I'm a perfectly good witch. I'm so good at flying on my my broomstick and I'm, I'm very good at spells and I'm a very kind witch and I just don't like cats because they make me itch and they make me sneeze and I don't want to have a cat. Smaragda, I'm the boss of all the witches and if I say you have to have a cat then that's the end of that, you have to have a cat. Now tomorrow morning I will be sending you a little black cat and don't you be trying to get rid of it because my witch magic is the strongest witch magic and you have to have a cat. Well, Smoragda went home and forgot all about that silly idea because she really didn't want to have a cat because she believed she was allergic to cats and she didn't like them. She'd rather have a dog. But the next morning when she got out of bed and she went to the front door to get the milk which was being delivered and the newspaper which was being delivered and she opened up the front door and she was just about to step onto the front doormat when ah! there on the doormat is a little black cat. Do that again. Little black cat. And Smaragda couldn't believe her eyes so she slammed the door shut and she went into the house to make some witch magic to get rid of that little black cat. And she got her big cauldron, and she got her big spell books, and she got lots and lots of disgusting magic to mix up in her cauldron. What do you think she got? Who's got some ideas of what, what would a witch put in her cauldron? Worms, disgusting, <laughs> slimy worms, and some slugs as well. And she put them in the cauldron, we'll pretend it's just there, and she stirred a bit. What else could she put in? Would she put some dirt? What else do you think? Has someone up the back got an idea? What about Jackie? What do you think she put in her cauldron? Or I think snails, snails? and slugs. What about, what about fish eyes? <laughs> oh, definitely. What about some old bones? Would she put some old bones in? Can you put some old bones in? Can you pretend to put some old frogs in? Put some frogs in? Does anyone want to pretend to put something disgusting in? Spiders, some disgusting spiders. And what about some dribble? And what about some snot? <laughs> and she stirred and stirred and she went bubble, bubble, toil and trouble. <laughs> Can everyone here make a wiggle and crackle? Are you ready? One, two, three. <laughs> and she's mixed up so many spells. She's mixed up, I don't know, how many spells do you reckon? Maybe about 10 or even more, maybe even... 15 or 50, she's made so many spells to get rid of that cat. So at the end of the day, she's finished working and there's lots and lots of mess everywhere and toxic smells and she thinks, well, that cat's bound to be gone because I've made up so much magic. I've said that she tried to send the cat to the moon and to Mars and to Africa and all sorts of places. And she opens up the front door and she looks down on the front doormat and what do you think is there? The little black cat. And Smoragda really, really doesn't want the cat. So she thinks, I'll just go to sleep and I'll sleep on it. And tomorrow morning I'll know what to do. 
and tomorrow morning she's got a plan. She gets the cat, she gets some rope and she gets her broomstick and she ties the little black cat onto the end of her broomstick and she goes flying really high and really fast, up and down, up and down. Can everyone draw a great big circle in the air like your arms flying around? And they go up and down and up and down and draw a seven in the air. And maybe an eight, can you draw a big eight in the air like your arms flying like the broomstick? Maybe another eight and up and down, up and down. And then she goes really slowly, close to the ground. And she turns around and she looks behind her on the broomstick and she unties the rope and she says, hold on kitty or you'll fall off. And she makes that witchy cackle. Can we all do that? <laughs> and then she goes flying again. Let's do another great big circle. Let's do a five. And a four. And up and down, up and down, up and down. And then she flies really close to the ground and she turns around and she looks behind her on the broomstick and there is no little black cat. And she's really, really happy. She thinks that cat's gone splat onto the ground and just that's the end of the cat. So she thinks, oh, well, I better turn around and fly home then or I might bump into the moon. So she turns around to fly home and you know what's sitting right in front of her? The little black cat. It crept around so gently it didn't even notice because it loved flying so, so much that it wanted to be right up the front of the broomstick. So small ragged, I thought, oh, how will I get rid of this cat? So she flew into the deepest, deepest ocean to get rid of the cat. But the cat just caught some fish for dinner. Can you, everyone do that? That's the sign of the fish. And then she flew into the hottest, hottest desert to get rid of the cat. But the cat just lay back on the broomstick and did some sunbaking. <laughs> and then she flew into the Antarctic where it was frozen, frozen cold to get rid of that little black cat. But the cat just made friends with the penguins. <laughs> and then she flew all the way home. And you know, by this time, I think her heart had really warmed to that little black cat because the first thing she did was she went to the fridge and she got out the bottle of milk and she took off the top and she poured the cream off the top of the milk into a little bowl and she put the little bowl beside the doormat at the front door for her little black cat. And the next day she went to see the head witch and the head witch said, Well, Smarada, how are you getting on with your little black cat that I sent you? <laughs> well, chief witch, I have to tell you that my little black cat is a very, very special cat. Well, of course he is, Moranda, because I gave him nine lives. <laughs> that chief witch was one of those bosses that had to have the final say. Do you know those ones? Oh, all right. So that's the end of that story. Happy World Storytelling Day!